This is it. This field you see behind me here is a hemp field. The location you're looking at is Brawley, California. This is an historical moment. This is the first hemp field to be grown legally in America in over 30 years. What we're doing here is an experiment to enhance the fiber agricultural industry and also the seed oil industry and create jobs at the same time. These fields are strictly for data research. Uh, if we zoom in here, you can see the cannabis sativa, how it's growing. We have a flat bed over here. Over here, we have a raised row bed. The reason why we have these two different beds, one is strictly for seeds, and one is strictly for fiber. If you notice, we've got a consistent stand here. Over here to the left, we have a spread out stand. Give the plants a little more room to grow. And if we walk down here, we can take a closer look at some of these plants. Church Station in California. Um, as you can see here, we have a cannabis sativa hemp crop growing. The unique aspect about these plants, they're all hybrid, low THC cannabis plants. THC is below 0.5%, which makes it totally legal and viable as a sustainable crop. Within about three months, these plants will grow to approximately six to eight feet in height. Right now, they stand at about eight to 12 inches. The best stand here is the middle stand, which we're zooming in on right now. This stand is approximately eight feet in height. We look down in here, we see plenty of these stems, and you can basically see the, the consistency of the stand. An aft plant from the distance, you can't really tell, but as we zoom in, you'll see the leaves are very similar. And as you can see, the canaf resembles the hemp. This is growing in the same patch as our French varieties. The water is draining from the ditch through gravity flow. Nice field right there. The owls are going to take care of the birds that have been eating some seeds for breakfast and lunch. So you guys are the ones who did it. In 89, I predicted this, and here are for you guys. <laughs> so you made my, my prediction come true. Thank oh, heavens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at these. Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks? A few weeks. A few weeks. A very weeks. good, consistent stand. The stand here is exceptionally, exceptionally well. Uh, we should yield approximately, oh, at least a thousand. The Hempstead Company was founded in 1990. We manufacture finished 100% hemp and hemp blended hats, garments, accessories, oils, cosmetics, novelty paper, as well as other fine products. Hemp is a long, strong bass fiber, cleaner, more durable, and more eco-friendly than mainstream fibers like cotton. Cotton requires more pesticides, herbicides, and other toxic chemicals which in turn depletes our soil and pollutes our vital waterways. Hemp requires no herbicides or pesticides. Hemp for mooring ships. Hemp for tackle and gear. Hemp for victory. And hemp for paints and sealants, plastics and polymers, lubricants and fuels, biomass for energy, fiber for wood products, and seeds for food for both humans and animals. Some estimates say hemp has up to 25,000 possible industrial uses.
This summer, the Hempstead Company attempted to make history when they planted the first legally grown domestic crop of industrial hemp in nearly 50 years. There we go. Inch and a half. Oh boy, one week. At least they thought it was legally grown. But the Imperial Valley Narcotics Task Force showed up with a different story. We agreed not to show the officer's face on camera. So the bottom line is that your plants do have THC level, and uh, state law says any, any is illegal, and that's, you know, so you're not going to be able to uh, harvest this at all. Um, is there any way that we would be able to work with the narcotics division if you get some pieces of the stock out and have them sent to a laboratory for uh, analysis as long as we didn't handle anything? And analysis on what? We want to do pectin and lignin and cellulose content. I'm not opposed to it, okay? I'm not trying, uh, we're not here trying to uh, discourage him from, from doing business, okay? We're just here to make sure things are done legally. Five days later, this field was plowed under, and there you have the problem with hemp. As long as it's illegal to grow, entrepreneurs will have to save the environment using imported fiber. The signs indicate that hemp is good for business. It's an entrepreneur's dream. And it's good for the environment. Hemp surely outgrows all the other known plants that we know of. It's just not legal to grow. The Canadian hemp growers, the English hemp growers, the French hemp growers, they all have a compliance program. If they have one, why can't we?